welcome back to my channel so once again it's me Khadija and of course first of all I'm I know that I'm late but guys I'm sorry I just need to wait for the email from YouTube to confirm that yes it's accepted that I have reached 1,000 subscribers and now I'm sure they are more than that so guys I'm going to open this YouTube email with you so I'm recording this now I'm so excited and so happy now we're gonna click it <laughs> oh this is the dancing bananas <laughs> you know thank you thank you all so much guys without you I won't be able to reach this thousand dancing bananas so guys that is all because of you yes you each and every one of you who supported me and trusted me and you know for giving me this chance thank you thank you all so much for everything guys now i have a youtube family a facebook family and you guys are growing and i'm so happy thank you all so much and yes as i always say i cannot promise that I can always entertain you but I will always do my best to make nice entertaining videos for you guys so everything that I do is all for you so thank you so much once again so anyways guys today's vlog is a request from two of my subscriber in YouTube asking me to show them how to make the paratha so Ladies, I am so sorry that it took me time to make this vlog. It's because, you know, Ramadan was over and we stopped eating parata in Sahri times. That is why it took time for me to find the time to make parata again. So, anyways, here it is now. And I hope you enjoy this and you will learn from this. So guys, I am with Kala right now and she is the one who makes the ata for us and she does this like every two days so atta is a mixture of wheat water and a little bit of salt in it and you have to mix all three ingredients together and massage it the same way as how Kala does it And now here is our atta. It's ready for making roti or paratha. So these are the ingredients that we need to make our paratha. So this one is the atta. And then we need the ghee. So there are two types of ghee. There is ghee from the milk. And there is ghee from, I think these are like some kind of vegetable oil. I just, it says like that on the ingredients. So. And this one is the kushka. This is what we're using to make the atta. So this is a dried one. Wait, we also need a rolling pin to uh, flatten our paratha. First, we have to turn on the fire and then we have to make sure that our pan there is hot enough before we place our paratha. So now we will make our paratha. So of course, we have to make sure that our hands are clean before we start. So I already washed mine. Okay, so we'll take half and then we uh, so like this and then we will put it in the kushka like that. We'll put our ghee in the middle. So we're gonna make like a sandwich just in the middle. And then after that, we will have to take the other half. So this is the other half of it. And we're just gonna put it on the top, okay? And we are going to close it up like this. Close it up like this. So that the ghee will remain inside. So like that, see? And then we make it like this. Okay, and then we are going to put it in the kushka bag. 
like that just roll it over there and then take it out and flatten a little bit like this the edges so it's like that now I'm gonna put it back again in the kushka and I'm gonna make it like here then we will roll it so I am not really good in making parata guys you know I I know how to make parata but but I mean like I cannot perfect the shape so then you know but it doesn't matter even if you cannot make a perfect round parata as long as you make a perfect taste um parata that's more than enough you don't need it to be in perfect shape you know so that's how it is so ours then we have to make it like this so that it will become big let me just put it down okay so what we do is we will put our ghee Just assist it because you know you are not that expert in assisting by making like this to shape it. For the remaining ghee, we have to put it on the top, on the side, on the top. We need to have this. This is very important so that we can check and we can reverse our parata. Now we will reverse our parata. Oh. So this is how it should look like when the parata is already cooked. So mine, there is a little hole over there because I think it become thin on that side when I was slapping it. I'm going to check the other side of our parata. Okay, now this is okay. And I'm just gonna cook a bit the other side as well because I want to make it a little bit the same like this turn off the fire and we take it out put it in the plate so this is our parata so alhamdulillah that i made it round today or else you know some might comment that your parata is not perfectly round <laughs> so alhamdulillah i'm happy that it's round today and that's how is the pakistani parata so anyways, I love to eat my parata with this ghee shakur. So ghee is the oil over there. I microwaved it so it will become hot and I put some shakur in it or sugar. So this is like a Moscovado sugar in Philippines. It's just that it is lighter in color. I also love to eat my parata with um, cheesy omelet. So yeah, that's how I enjoy it. So that's all for this vlog guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you like it and share it with your family and friends. And if you're new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on my next vlog.